Hey guys, it's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and I know we are a little ways into April, but um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what we are using for our April morning basket for homeschool this, uh, this month. Um, as you may know, I do use the homeschool garden um, for the majority of our morning time activities and uh, other book ideas and stuff like that, but I also add in some nature study from what we are doing with our Good and the Beautiful Science units and um, picture books for our geography. And we are doing picture books with beautiful feet books around the world with picture books part one, which also correlates and ties into our My Father's World Exploring Countries and Cultures curriculum. So I do try to have a lot of the things that are in our morning basket go along with other things that we are studying um, during our homeschool day. But as far as poetry and art study and Shakespeare and all of that, that all comes from the homeschool garden. Everything is planned out for me. I love, love, love it. April's theme is resurrection, which goes along with Easter, and it has already been a lot of fun. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you some of these resources. All right, so I have a morning time binder. I've got my homeschool garden um, cover right here in this old bratty binder that I've been using for several years. Here is the schedule that we are using. Um, all kinds of great things included. Handicrafts, tea times, art. Um, we don't always get to everything and we are actually taking a spring break right now. It's the second week of April. Um, and I do think that if you're following along with the main group that they start a week earlier than I do, which is fine. Um, I do think you can probably jump in and make it work for you whenever. So um, I have everything printed out. I love that I can just print it out and we're good to go. Um, poetry, this is good for memorization. So she does include some scripture memory. We don't use the scripture memory because we already have scripture memory built into our My Father's World ECC. But if you didn't, it's there available for you. There's a poem. And then this is actually one that we have been memorizing with ECC. So that correlates for us. Our art artist this uh, month is Rembrandt. So we have some paintings and different pieces of artwork that we are studying in here. Our hymn is Nothing But the Blood. And then we have Tis a Gift. Our composer this month is Clementi. I don't know much about this one, so I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce it, but we are learning about him and listening to some of his pieces. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite poems of all time is one that we are reading and studying, The Lady of Shalott. And then we also have the resurrection and the life. For tea time, we have the tale of three trees. I'm not sure if this one is included in tea time or not, or if it's just poetry. I'd have to look over at the front here. Well, I think that's just one of our poems that we're reading. Okay, see sometimes I don't even remember, but everything is laid out and I always uh, have my laptop with me and I can pop on and play different um, songs if I need to, different pieces from the composer. She does have copy work, we don't do this copy work, but she includes copy work with this, so the prodigal son copy work. She also has geography. So our nature study, this month is about metaphor metamorphosis and all things new, which this lines up perfectly with our butterfly study that we're doing with the Good and the Beautiful. So we have some nature cards about butterflies, and then there's also a look at the beetle life cycle and some beetle nature cards as well that are really interesting. Okay, so let me talk about the library books that I picked up to go along with the homeschool garden. I found this Rembrandt book. 
which is really neat and just something that the kids can flip through and look at and they can talk about if we need to for our resurrection. Um, she does have a copy. So a copy of The Three Trees is included in the homeschool garden, but I picked up this book from the library. Um, as well as this book, I thought it would be kind of fun to read called He is Alive. I am reading the Christian Liberty Nature Reader for our science, and this is a really cute. I really recommend if you can find these to find them. And then, of course, two books that we always use is Hero Tales and Window on the World. And to finish up, here is a look at the picture books that we are doing with Beautiful Feet books. So Hush and The Lotus Seed, which I may not have pulled out at this point. These go along with Thailand, which is not a country that we are officially studying with ECC, but it is one that is included in the Beautiful Feet books, and I thought it was an interesting um, little detour. So we learned a little bit about Thailand, and we read those two books. For China, we are reading this book, Anno's China, and then, oh, apparently not all of my books made it with me over here. The story about Ping, I don't have it with me. But we are reading those for China, and then for Japan, we are doing Crow Boy, Grandfather's Journey, and The Tale of the Mandarin Ducks. So that is what is included in our morning basket this month for the month of april as always i will have a blog post with all the links more information please excuse my children i do have six children they're, always with me, so. they're loud <laughs> um so yeah that's everything thanks so much for watching i will talk to y'all later bye